Your question, the member from Cambridge. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is for the Premier. Premier, you seem to have your dates a little crossed up, so I want to lay this out for you. You met with the Leader of the Official Opposition on January 28, 2013, and asked him to stop pursuing the truth about the $1.1 billion gas plant scandal. Then on February 7, you wrote to the Auditor General to ask him to expand the probe on the gas plant scandal to include the Oakville power plant. But between that time, the OPP says Peter Faist was in the Premier's office purging documents off computers. How can you be responsible for taking meetings on the gas plant scandal by asking the Auditor General to further probe the gas plant scandal, but be completely removed from the Deputy Chief of Staff's IT savvy boyfriend destroying files on the gas plant scandal? Premier, you're ministerially responsible for Where's that you? office. Why don't you explain, yeah. sir? You know, Mr. Speaker, uh, let, let me just say this, that uh, I came into this office uh, knowing that there was, uh, there was a need for an opening up of a process around the relocation of the gas plants. I knew that, Mr. Speaker. It was discussed during the leadership race. We talked about it, and we knew that there was going to need to be a different process whereby information could be brought into the public, Mr. Speaker. And so I absolutely came into this office and wanted to do everything that I could to make sure that there was the opportunity for the public, for the members of the opposition, but for the public also, Mr. Speaker, more importantly, to have the information that was needed. We opened up the process. I said I was going to do that, and that's what we've done. Answer. Mr. Thank you. Supplementary. Premier, the best defence is a good offence, but your house of cards falls to pieces when you can no longer muzzle the people around you. You tried to muzzle the member from Nipissing after you redacted the wrong documents in the Estimates Committee. You're trying to, to muzzle the Leader of the Opposition and the member for Nepea and Carleton to change the channel on your $1.1 billion gas plant scandal. The problem is, Premier, that no one takes you seriously. Premier, you can't even muzzle your own government bureaucrats and prevent them from leaking out your class political spending plans. How can you call yourself? an open, honest and transparent government when you refuse to answer questions and can't go a day without dragging honourable members of this legislature through the mud. Oh. Premier, it doesn't get much lower than that. You should apologize to the people of Ontario for your smear campaign. Yeah. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. I will debate uh, I will debate issues that uh, have a basis in truth, that are honest, Mr. Speaker, that have evidence to support them. I will debate those any day, Mr. Speaker, which is why I said that when I came into this office, it was very important to me that we open up the process and we, we uh, provide any answers to questions that were put forward, Mr. Speaker, and that we broaden the scope of the committee so that those answers could be brought forward, Mr. Speaker. And in terms of, uh, in terms in terms of our budget, I'm happy to talk with the member opposite about our plan for the budget, Mr. Speaker. I'm happy to talk about how important it is, I believe, that we invest in the people of this province and not cut their programs, not cut their